Hello everyone. Here we have got an interesting exponential equation with indices being logarithms. The equation is given as x raised to the power ln x is equal to x minus 1 raised to the power ln x minus 1. So let us see that how do we solve it. To solve this equation, first like most of the exponential equations, we start by taking natural log of both the sides and then we use the power law of log to get ln x into ln x is equal to ln x minus 1 into ln x minus 1 which becomes ln x whole square is equal to ln x minus 1 whole square and this equation gives us two solutions as ln x is equal to plus minus ln x minus 1. So, we take the first solution, the positive one, ln x is equal to ln x minus 1. This gives us x is equal to x minus 1 or 1 dividing both the sides by x, we get 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 by x and this gives us 1 by x is equal to 0. This is possible only when x is equal to infinity. So, x is equal to infinity is one of the solutions of this equation which we can see from the initial analysis also. From the initial just by observing the equation we can say that x should be infinity for this equation. But let us see that what happens with the negative solution which is ln x is equal to minus ln x minus 1. This becomes ln x is equal to ln x minus 1 raised to the power minus 1 from the power law of the logarithm. So, we can tell that x is equal to x minus 1 raised to the power minus 1 or x becomes equal to 1 by x minus 1. Cross multiplication gives x into x minus 1 is equal to 1 or x square minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. It turns into a quadratic equation which must have two roots. So, let us see how those two roots are there. We have to keep in mind that x must be greater than 1 for the equation to be valid as ln x minus 1 should not become negative. So, from the quadratic equation rule we get x is equal to 1 plus minus under root minus 1 is square minus 4 into 1 into minus 1 divided by 2. It results into two roots as x is equal to 1 plus minus root 5 by 2. When we, when we take minus sign that is 1 minus root 5 by 2, it beca x becomes negative and that is not valid for the original equation. And the second root is 1 plus root 5 by 2, which is more than 1 also and positive also. So, the other solution for x is equal to 1 plus root 5 by 2. So, we got two solutions for this equation. One is this, 1 plus root 5 by 2 and the other one is a very obvious solution that is x is equal to infinity. Thanks for watching.